That was super fun, right? What do you think about that bike? <laughs> it's New Orleans, man. That's it. It's New Orleans. When else can you do a party in the middle of the city and just stop everything for a party and get away with it? That's it. New Orleans. Like it. You can even order a marching band if you want a marching band, right? All right. Well, it depends on the time, but yeah, you can do it. They're always raising money to take tours, right? So there's always places to get marching bands. We had one at our conference here, but no point here. So you can get marching bands and all sorts of stuff. You all can? sorts of fun stuff here. <laughs> New Orleans, it stays open 24 hours a day. It never closes, so if you get bored as a business traveler, right? Uh, it's uh, the problem is it's uh, it was really hammered by Katrina. Oh yeah. It never really catch up. Completely got back to where it was. But what is happening here is magic and food, music, art, and. Uh, Debauchery. <laughs> Which is this kind of partying attitude, right? right? Go and have a street party. These are locals. These are he lives here. Most of these people live here. This is we're sort of the imposters on this party. Right. We are the visitors. Right? We're the visitors, the journalists, to verify that they actually have a good time here. Yeah. We actually had a great time. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a computer nerd, so I feel like I'm like the least. Cool person here. Oh, okay, but that's not, that's not just a need, you know, it's not. It's, it's not New Orleans. It's New Orleans. All you have to do everybody is party. Has, everybody has fun here, so it's crazy. I mean, I'm from New Orleans, that's why I was like, oh, I'll show up, I'll probably have a good time at some point, and I did. So. Okay, other, <laughs> that was great. The other thing is, you'll think the party is dying like this right now. You da, notice da, the tone, da, 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 and, then and it might die for it, 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 10 I minutes know, even. You know, just, and people are just like, low key. Go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah or something right. happened, and then the party starts building again, oh, and uh, and all of a sudden you're, you know, having a full-on block party <laughs> with a thousand other people. It's crazy remember, what happens at this And remember that it's Monday night. So yeah, this is, not, this is not Saturday. This is not Friday. No. It's Monday night. This is a magical city. Yeah, it's a magical know. city. Like, I'm magical I'm city for me. That's has... a long story. I, well, I bet that you have some stories. Well, no. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> some that I might talk about on camera. No, no, no. Some, That's fine. That's and fine. That's fine. And some that I won't. <laughs> totally fine. They, they involve other people. <laughs> understandable. Completely understandable. So. I was just trying to record a little piece of New Orleans, which is really impressive to me. Like going in that bike up to top, six foot clearance is insane. There's a lot of things happening uh, here culturally. Yeah. It has the old school cultural mixtures of the French, the Spanish, and everybody. Right. Because the end of the Mississippi is a port city and it brings people here from all over the world. You'll meet people. Right. Like in your Uber from Guana or South America. It's incredible, or, yeah. You know, the New mixture. Zealand or all right. over the place because they couldn't make money where they were and they, right. or they had a girl over here that they were following or they were on a job and fell in love, right? All these right, stories. Right. All these stories, right? And all those mixtures cause the jazz music there. That's where the great jazz music comes, or the blues that comes out of here. The, the, I mean, all the interesting jazz music is headquartered here. It's right. centered here. Right. Right. And the food that comes out of here, a lot of the famous food brands started in New Orleans, yes. right? The, particularly the chefs that started in New Orleans because this was the toughest market. This is where the foodies come and they expect really high quality. And we're getting it. Right. I mean, if you didn't see the steak I posted on Facebook oh, tonight, it's insane. It's, it's insane. Unbelievable, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, you might find something that's just a little bit better. Yeah. But you're going to have to work your ass off to find a better steak. Right, right. right? right. <laughs> I will. I, I definitely will. And I haven't found one and I have And I'm, I'm from Argentina. I can tell I'm from Argentina. It's one of the best things that I ever ate, ate like for real, for real. And that's not even the best restaurant in uh, right. just in New Orleans. There, right? No, it's a good one. It, it makes a good steak, but it's not the best restaurant. You, right. You'd read the Michelin guides. Right. I've been trying to get into this Israeli restaurant. I've got